What's up, good people? Uh, <laughs> we got to talk about Tim Tebow for some odd reason. Uh, Urban Meyer and the Jags decided to sign Tebow to a contract. Now, it sounds like it's not a guaranteed roster spot or anything like that, but um, I just don't get it. I don't get any any parts of it, not a single part of this. This is dumb. Number one, Tim Tebow hasn't played in the NFL in eight or nine years. Last couple years he spent playing baseball. He supposedly is signed and tried out as a tight end, and he's never played tight end before, ever. Not in high school, not in college, not in the NFL. He's never played tight end before. And he is going to be on the team going into camp. Um, it's just dumb. There's no, there's really nothing else you can put, uh, way to put this. It's dumb. Uh, it's either a PR move, a, a way to sell tickets, or Urban Meyer doesn't understand how to be an NFL head coach. And obviously he's never been one before, but that doesn't mean you don't know how to be one. And I hope that's not the case, that this is an indicator of his experience as a head coach in the NFL, because this is not good. Um, first off, Tebow played a bit of H back. Like he had a couple snaps. I think it was with the Jets. Um, he didn't look very good. Uh, I mean, Tebow himself. So Tebow, when he played in the NFL, is an athletic guy. He's big, relatively fast, um, can throw the ball. But he doesn't really have any real, like, wiggle. Like, he's not a guy who would juke you. He's not a Lamar or Michael Vick or anything like that. He is a run-through-you type of, of quarterback. So he's not even, you know, the, the type of quarterback where you, you know, you see like an Antoine Randall L, who was a smaller guy, slot guy. But even when he played quarterback at, I believe it was Indiana, he had, like, some wiggle to him. Tebow has none of that. He's a bigger guy. Uh, he, he just doesn't, I, I just don't, I don't get this at all. Um, you're taking away a roster spot from another guy, potentially. Um, you know, I, I keep hearing people say that he's inspirational. Um, listen, I played high school football and played in college as well. There wasn't an a guy who was on the third or fourth stringer barely making the team that was inspiring starters on the on the team like get, you're sitting on the bench you're not inspiring anybody you should in fact inspire yourself to become a starter while you're up here trying to inspire me I, I'm playing I'm starting you should inspire yourself to become a starting tight end instead of trying to inspire everybody else to to you know, be their best. We are, we're being our best. You be your best, Tim. Do your job. Um, also, too, with Trevor Lawrence, like, yeah, okay, so people are, are telling me, well, he'll be a gadget quarterback and he'll, you know, do this other stuff. I don't want anything to potentially hinder the progress of Trevor Lawrence. I, I think Trevor Lawrence probably is a mentally tough kid. I think overall he's just a tough dude. I, I think, I think he's a really good quarterback but the thing is in the NFL especially with a rookie quarterback the last thing you need is a distraction one of the first questions that Trevor Lawrence is going to get after a full team practice is going to be how does Tim Tebow look and why should he have to deal with that this is it this is not Tebow wasn't on the team before Trevor got drafted no Urban you brought this on you decided to bring in the, the circus show of what Tim Tebow is. It, it, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Um, they're just, to me, it, there's just no, like, this, this makes zero sense. This is dumb. The Jaguars, I was holding out some hope as far as how they are ran as a franchise. I think their owner does care a lot about winning and trying to win and, and, you know, getting the Jags to that spot in that position, but this is not it. And it, it, there are reports that came out today too, where uh, there were some coaches on the staff who did not want this to happen. And it sounds like urban had the final say as the head coach does. 
Uh, it sounds like there's coaches on that staff who know what the heck they're they're talking about because this is this is just a circus. This is not the type of attention that you need as a franchise. This is not the type of distraction that I'd want my first round draft pick quarterback, who's going to be my starter from day one. I don't want him to have to deal with this. And you brought this upon the team. So we'll see. I, my hope is that he gets cut early in training camp because that's the last thing you need to deal with. And and the thing is, too, even if, say, he gets cut after week one of training camp, guess what? There's going to be questions about that still. There's still going to be questions. Hey, Trevor, why do, you, why do you think Tim got cut? I don't know. Man, I, ask Coach. Like, it, it's just dumb. I don't like it. I'm annoyed. Uh, so hopefully this is just I, – I, I hope this isn't an indicator for Urban because if so – the Jags, you're going to be exactly where you were before, which is losing all the time. So we'll see what happens, but appreciate it. Peace.